truly must say that this has been the toughest DSA and SQL round if I were to compare it to Uber and Apple. We'll discuss the topics, the important areas to prepare for so that you are able to nail your data engineering interview. For Spark, I would highly recommend on having a good grasp on executor tuning concepts. Data SKU, the recruiter informed me that I did well in all the rounds except product sense. Now this actually came as a surprise to me because I thought I really did well in product and the only round I was scared about was the coding round. However, the good thing was that they wanted to give me another chance so I would have to basically appear for another product sense interview. We also went into things like how does Python manage this data structure internally. There were some tricky follow-up questions regarding the implementation of slowly changing dimensions. So please do read about how SCDs are implemented and practicing write, practice writing queries for the implementation. Hey everyone, I recently cracked the interview at Atlassian for the senior data engineer P5 roles. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my interview experience. I've signed an NDA with them, so I won't be able to share with you the exact question. But of course, we'll discuss the topics, the important areas to prepare for so that you are able to nail your data engineering interview. So let's get started. So there are five rounds in total. The first one is a data engineering technical screen round. You need to pass this round in order to be able to appear for the next four rounds. The second one is the coding round which involves both SQL and DSA. The third one is data architecture and design round. So Atlassian basically has both system design and data modeling in the same round itself. The fourth one is product sense and the last one is management and values round. So don't worry I'll be discussing about each one of these rounds in detail. In the screening round I was asked two medium SQL questions two easy DSA questions and a few questions based on Spark. The first SQL was based on window functions. The second one was based on aggregation. I was able to answer both pretty quickly and we then moved on to the DSA problem. The first DSA problem was an easy array question. The second one was a string problem that involved the usage of a dictionary. I discussed the problem and a few edge cases and there was a little back and forth and then I finally wrote down the code. I was asked by the interviewer to tell about the space and the time complexity which I answered. We still had some time left so the interviewer asked a scenario based question on Spark. We discussed several cases with respect to the question and I also shared my calculation on how I would tune the resources for the job. Overall the interviewer seemed to be satisfied. Uh, for Spark I would highly recommend on having a good grasp on executor tuning concepts data skew and how do you handle and approach data skew data engineering coding round so this round was divided into two parts the first one was 30 minutes for dsa and 30 minutes for sql and i truly must say that this has been the toughest dsa and sql round if i were to compare it to uber and apple so it started with the dsa problem it was an arrays question i took some time to read the problem and then think out loud about my approach and when I was sharing the algorithm, the interviewer then asked me, hey, how would you handle a case like this? So it got me thinking and I made a few changes to my approach to my algorithm. And after verifying a few edge cases on my own, I requested the interviewer to check. The interviewer then inputted and ran a few test cases, which, which seemed to work completely fine. I would then ask the time complexity, which I answered. There was actually a little discussion around space complexity. And we also went into things like how does Python manage this data structure internally. The next question was SQL. It was a pretty long question with two follow-ups. I took it took me some time to digest the question, read the table that was given together with the question. I would say it was a tricky, hard question. Honestly, I spent more than 15 minutes thinking out loud about all possible approaches I could take. And then and then a few few of the approaches failed because of certain edge cases and after much thinking I was able to come up with a final approach. The final approach involved using a window function and then doing an aggregation on top of it. I was able to answer the question along with the first follow-up but didn't have much time for the second follow-up. Overall I thought that this it, it, it was decent I was not although super happy with this. Next up was data architecture and design round. So Atlassian does both of data modeling and system design in the same round as I mentioned earlier. I was asked to build a data model for one of the apps that we used on a day-to-day -day basis. So you can think of any of the apps like Swiggy, Zomato, Uber. 
Instagram or WhatsApp. I then build the data model using a star schema, laid out the facts and the dimension tables. I then made some corrections and added a few brief tables when I was asked about how I would handle many to many relationships. There were some tricky follow up questions regarding the implementation of slowly changing dimensions. So please do read about how SCDs are implemented and practice writing queries for their implementation. Yeah. There were some queries which I then wrote on top of my data model and then we moved to building an architecture which would enable us making data marts. So basically I had to consider various sources, things like chain data capture and then design the system right from ingestion, storage, transformation to finally building the data mart. I would highly recommend practicing building data models and data architectures for ride hailing, food delivery and social media apps. Have a thorough grasp over fact and dimensional data modeling. Read about how Lambda and Kappa architectures are built. So the next round was a product sense round. So the product sense is a 45 minute round and this was all about metrics. So the theme of the questions were around how would I diagnose issues with a particular feature? What are the kind of metrics would I look at? What would my approach to troubleshooting be? An important thing to remember is to be structured in your approach, to dissect every word of the question, every word of the problem. And I would really recommend having a good grasp over all kinds of metrics, such as engagement metrics, retention metrics, monetization metrics, activation metrics. You can just Google these kind of metrics and then there'll be several of them. For example, DAU, MAU, stickiness ratio, um, ARPU and so on. So there'll be several kinds of metrics which you can categorize into these four categories and understand their meaning. Right? Um, being comfortable with segmentation is also a very important thing. Um, so for example, let's say if you were to segment on the timing, you would probably say that, let's say when the issue happened, is it a week on week change or is it a seasonal change? Because it's, if it's a seasonal change, you can probably handle it by changing the infrastructure, by increasing the resources and so on. Is it a sudden or a gradual change? So I basically segmented the problem across various dimensions and then drill down into a few of them. So some example that I could give is was the issue across different platforms, for example, iOS, web or Android. How does the issue look for new versus existing users? Now, the final one was the management and values round. This again was a 45 minute round and it was with a senior data engineering manager. Some of the themes around which my questions revolved were basically how do I deal with things when I am incorrect? What has been my approach towards handling such kind of situation? There were also questions around times when I had differing opinions and how did I put my opinion forward? Later on towards the end of the interview, the style of question changed to basically around achievements and trying to understand what are some of the things that I'm really proud of, some of the work that I've done that I'm really proud of. Yeah. So um, it is really important to, to remain structured in your storytelling and to be able to follow the star format to be thorough with attractions, values and how they resonate with you and try to plug it into your example and the work you've done in the past. So do try to add that flavor, do try to bring that flavor to your example. So once all the rounds were over, I soon got a call from the recruiter. I was hoping to hear the good news, but honestly, I was unsure if I would make the cut. So the recruiter informed me that I did well in all the rounds except product sense. Now, this actually came as a surprise to me because I thought I really did well in products and the only round I was scared about was the coding round. However, the good thing was that they wanted to give me another chance. So I would have to basically appear for another product sense interview to which I agreed. So I appeared again for the interview and it was now it was with the head of engineering, head of data engineering. And this time I was asked a question which was of a different type. But this round went smooth. A few days later, again, I get a call from the recruiter informing me that finally I made the cut. I did well in the product sense round and they were happy to proceed with an offer with me. This, with an offer. this was my experience for the P5 senior data engineer role at Atlassian. I hope this gave you insights into the overall interview process. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Lastly, thank you so much 
for giving so much love to the spark performance tuning playlist so just in case you've not already watched it there will be a link appearing towards the end of the video thank you again for watching